This is the gruesome case of Linda Spence explained. Linda Spence was working as a financial advisor in Scotland and was reportedly involved in some shady dealings, accepting multiple deposits from elderly people for flats which were never built. In 2010, 27-year-old Linda Spence began to negotiate a deal for what she claimed was a valuable parcel of land near Stansted Airport and as part of this deal she produced some handmade bond certificates she claimed were issued by the government of Denmark. She attracted an investment of £80,000 from Colin Coates, a man with something of a reputation for being involved in criminal enterprise. While looking for further investors for her project, she traveled to the United States, where the fraudulent bonds caught the attention of the FBI and she quickly left the country. Linda's house of cards was beginning to crumble around her when she returned to Scotland and she ignored repeated attempts at contact from Mr. Coates, who was beginning to be concerned about his investment. Coates then took matters into his own hands by snatching Linda from the streets of Glasgow in April 2011. Coates hired two associates to watch Linda while she was held captive. Linda's disappearance was investigated by police who quickly identified Coates as a person of interest based off their financial dealings. However, Coates denied any involvement in her disappearance and the investigation appeared to stall. At this point, Linda's family has become aware of her sketchy dealings and maintained hope she had simply just fled the country. However, Coates was eventually betrayed by a witness who became concerned for his life due to his knowledge of the crime and Coates' constant threats to silence him. He then went to the police naming Coates as her kidnapper and gave the names of the associates who had guarded Linda during her ordeal. Upon being arrested, the two associates agreed to give evidence against Coates in return for reduced sentences. They reported that Linda was kept alive for over two weeks, during which time she was humiliated and tortured by Coates. She was tied to a chair and forced to sit in her own waist, had her thumb cut off, her kneecaps shattered with golf clubs, her feet completely crushed and her hands completely burnt with an iron. Coates' associates both claimed they did not witness Linda's eventual murder, but believed that Colin Coates decapitated her and put her body in the boot of his car. In the days after Linda was believed to have been killed, Coates asked a friend to borrow his boat, but was turned down. Colin Coates was found guilty of Linda Spence's murder, but has also denied any involvement. Linda's body has still never been found, despite ongoing extensive searches by the police of Scotland. And they say this case will not be closed until Linda is found. This case is absolutely sickening, but Linda Spence did steal $80,000 from a man who was known to be involved in criminal activity. Not saying she deserved what happened to her at all, I'm just saying she messed with the wrong person and got the full consequence of it. Rest in peace to Linda Spence and I hope her body is found soon.